Well, good to see everybody again, and uh, good to have Traylon here. This is kind of his day, and excited to add him to the football team like we talked about uh, last night. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to getting going here in another hour to get him some teammates, but today's Traylon's day, so we'll open it up for questions. On the same page, and what does it take to do that? Um, I say it takes a lot. Um, just knowing the quarterback, um, actually reaching out to him, getting to know him as a person, as who he is, um, figure out like what he sees, and then also getting on the same page as him, and um, you know, just establishing that relationship with him will make a lot of things better. Have you had the opportunity to talk with Ryan Tannehill, and if so, what was that conversation? Um, no, sir, not yet. What have the last couple hours been like for you and your family? This has got to be an incredible moment. For you. Um, I would say um, really words can't explain it. Um, you know, just grateful, grateful that uh, the guys believed in me, um, you know, and, um, you know, I'm going to do whatever, um, you know, they said for me to do and um, just go keep chasing my dreams. Say it again. What's helped you become such a deep threat in the, in the passing game? What um, I would just say um, just knowing exactly what that guy's doing, um, you know, studying my film, um, staying up to date on everything, just making sure that I'm taking care of my business on my end, and also just communicating with the quarterback. How important was it for you at Arkansas? You look at what they did, you know, screens and different things to get you manufactured touches. How much did that help really showcase what you bring to the table? Um, I would just say it was just um, they did a really good job of putting me in different positions to, uh, you know, get, get me the ball and um, just to let me uh, go out and show what I can really do with the ball in my hand. And, um, you know, I'm forever grateful for that. Did you have a lot of situations where you had to kind of like make those route adjustments, the sight adjustments and things on the fly at, at Arkansas? Uh, yes, sir. Um, that being said, just being in the inside, um, always uh, knowing exactly what that nickel or that safety is doing. And then also out there on the outside, knowing what the safety is doing and also what, what covers the corners in. So it just plays a big role in my, in my study and my film. What did you like about lining up in the slot a lot? What was that? How was that an advantage for you? Um, I'd just say uh, getting matchups on uh, linebackers and nickels that are a lot smaller than me and um, just going and playing ball. Trey, what do you think you took with the team and find a player, maybe how you work, and then John and Mike, if you could kind of address too how you think you fit your, your what you're looking for in a tight um, I would just say, um, honestly, coming from um, a high school that I came from um, with Coach Hembry, um, he's the same way. As, it's about business. Um, you know, Finishing and effort is the main things, and um, you know that plays a big role in winning. And um, you know that's what um, you know coming from a winning organization, um, knowing how to finish, knowing how to uh, give effort when um, it's due, and um, just being that team player plays a big role. What 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 you like about uh, uh, doing that? Um, I would say the last time I've been was in um, November. Um, but it's you know it's just a hobby that I like doing, being with my friends and family, and just having a good time. Is there a boar season? Uh, <laughs> no, sir. Or just uh, whenever they're running wild? Huh? Whenever they're running. I would. I, w I wouldn't mind. We talked about it when, uh, you know, we had a great visit, and, and admittedly, I think this was a thing that John and I really uh, was impressed about, is that it it wasn't very good, admittedly, in Indianapolis. Just the interaction. It's tough. It's 18 minutes and. You know, he's scrambling, and there wasn't much there. He came back, and he's like, I'm really glad I got an opportunity to do this again, um, to spend a day at this, this organization, uh, to try to get to, for you guys to get to know who I am and, and do more than an 18-minute um, process or interview. So that was really cool, and that, that was something that we have talked about, you know, in the past and through the draft process. What was it about that that made you want to have a conversation? Well, I think first he admitted to both John and I, he's like, yeah, it, it didn't go very well. And I was kind of glad. And um, th he, did, he referenced his, his high school coach and, and how he did hold him accountable. And he, he wanted that. And he, um, you know, you, you question and you nitpick every single play. You know what I mean? When you watch 600 or 700 snaps of a player, there's going to be plenty of, of bad ones. Like we talk about every year, every game, there's, there's the good, the bad, and the things that, that are going to get you beat. And, you know, you, you reference, okay, you didn't, you know, go as hard on the backside of this block. And he's like, you're right, I didn't. And this is why, or this is what our offense. And, you know, when you can own up to that, that's a tough thing to do when there, people are attacking you and every single play and nitpicking. So it was a very, very good visit. It was a great day. It was one of those that, that went quickly. And I know that, that Traylon felt the same way about it. Hey, Chris, <laughs> right, just to follow up with that, I think that um, the way he expressed his appreciation 
for, for a second opportunity um, to come in and, and visit with, with Mike and I and, and get to know us a little bit better, spend more time. Um, you know, he, I think he relished that opportunity to have a second chance. Um, and he, he said that. He goes, I understand in this league, a lot of times you don't get second chances. And I'm, um, I, I put that at the forefront when I knew I was coming to visit with you guys, that I wanted to make the most of this opportunity, show you guys the real me. And, um, and he did that. Uh, honestly, just being in that room, um, you know, like he said, 18 minutes, um, getting questions here, questions there, um, is not not being you know ready for it. Honestly, not being prepared for it, and then also you know that kind of put me in a state to where you know I wasn't myself. Uh, and then being able to come back, you know, I honored that you know second chance, and you know I just wanted to show him like who I really am and not that person. Are there, are there NFL players to trade on that you kind of pattern your game after or, or that you think you compare to? Um, honestly, you know, I've watched I watch every, you know, wide receiver um, and take everything from them to help my game. But I really, you know, make myself after myself uh, just because, of, you know, I feel like without being myself, I wouldn't be in this position. And so uh, giving it to God and my faith and, you know, just being myself has, you know, blessed me with this opportunity. So that was something that your great-grandfather kind of instilled in you early, something that not, not a lot of people get the opportunity to do to get that right. advice from a grandparent. Um, what did he teach you, and how have you carried that throughout your football career? Um, he's, he would always just tell me to go, my, go about my business like a grown man, even when I was seven years old. Um, you know, go to school, own up to the bad grades that I made, um, and, you know, come home with the grades, don't hide them. And, um, you know, just things like the little things like that just, you know, you know, made a big impact on my life, and you know, I'm forever grateful for it. I'm kind of fascinated by the poor hunt thing. Uh, um, did you know that one of, your, you one, of your, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of your uh, one of your new teammates, uh, uh, Bud Dupree, has done that. In fact, did you by any chance know that about him, and, and might you uh, chat about that with with him at some point? Uh, no, sir, but I will definitely be chatting with him about it. <laughs> I have to follow up though. Uh, do, when you go poor hunting. Dog, knife, what else are you taking on that hunt? Um, honestly, yeah, it's just my dogs, um, a couple friends, and my knife. <laughs> I, I'm thinking that makes it a little easier when you're having to go down the field and there's a defender in your way. <laughs> um, yeah, big time, just because, um, you know, a lot of people is not going to go out there and chase a wild boar. Um, you know, they can hurt you, but at the same time, that's, you know, part of my game on the field, just being fearless and um, just selling out for the team. What's the most dangerous encounter you've had with a wild boar? Uh, I wouldn't say it really has got pretty dangerous for me. Um, I would just say we've had one just break loose and we all jumped on trees just to get away from it. <laughs> Dissuade someone from going after a boar with his bare hands and a knife or what? Um, I mean, may, maybe some, some grocery store coupons. <laughs> they can just go to the back aisle and get bacon and sausage. <laughs> probably, probably a little easier to just kind of get, get, get it that way man, as opposed to dogs and knives. <laughs> For you, you know, that was made about your four, five, five, forty. But you play with speed. Like you look at the Alabama game, you ran away from everybody. What do you make of just like transferring track speed to football speed, and like bouncing it back and forth and playing with the speed that you play? With? I just say, um, you know, I just go out there and just play ball. Um, you know, I didn't let that four, five, five affect me one bit because I knew exactly who I am and what I can do on the football field. So I didn't let, you know the media, none of that get to me. I just go out there and play ball for the team and, you know, for my family. That's it. When you start practicing, whether that's rookie mini camp and then on into the off season program, what's going to be your focus? Um, just playing my role on the football team, being able to, uh, you know, get on special teams, make an impact any way that I can. And um, just, you know, being positive, being that player that, you know, maybe a vet come up to and um, ask for advice, you know, you never know. And just being that team player. Mike, you're calling cards. Your guy has been effort and finish. Do you yep. see him as an effort and finish kind of guy when you see him on film? Yeah, and and we've talked, and there and we have to continue to to preach that. You know, there there's multiple you know ways that we can improve that. Um, we felt like that when we when we when they did ask him to block, and he was a willing participant. Um, you know, obviously everything with the ball in his hands speaks for itself. You know, we just are really trying to put a premium on how we play without the football in our hands, whether that's Derek 
whether it's our wide receivers, um, everybody, because that's just what we feel like is is going to be necessary for offense to be as efficient as it possibly can. So, you know, there's a lot of ways for for him to do that, and, and I'm confident that he will. And uh, you know, I feel like he's going to be coachable, and I know that he's excited. I, Rob's excited to, to work with him. You had mentioned yesterday that you discovered immediately that this was a business-like um, atmosphere. What were some of the things that stood out that made you uh, have that quick observation? Um, I would just say just how it, um, you know, the environment when I first came, when my second chance coming in here, um, you know, just seeing how, you know, everything is organized, um, seeing how, you know, the guys communicate. Um, and then also you can tell on the field when you're watching film and wa or watching games at home, you know, everybody's playing as a unit. And like you said, you see everybody out there blocking their ass off. You see everybody um, selling out for, you know, one another, even though they don't have the ball. And, you know, that's how business is ran. Everybody does their one job and the business uh, succeed. Hear from any of the wide receivers uh, since uh, getting drafted? Um, yes, sir. I actually talked to Robert Woods today. What he had to say. Um, it was positive, you know, he was just telling me to, uh, you know, he's happy for me, um, enjoy the process, and, uh, you know, he's ready to work with me. You know about his what, game. What do you know about his game, and how much could, could that benefit you, having a veteran like that show you the way? Um, uh, I don't, really don't know too much about his game, but as you can see, um, you know, you can tell that he's went about his business the correct way. Um, you know, every, you know, obstacle that he's, you know, had, he's conquered it, and, um, you know, um, I just know that he's a really good player. What do you think is going to contribute to you being an instant impact player for, for the Titans? Um, just being myself um, and you know, not trying to be nobody else. Um, you know, attacking every day like I'm supposed to. And um, the effort and finish, um, being that guy that's going to you know, do the extra effort and the extra finish to um, succeed. Last 24 hours obviously have been crazy for you. What's the next step? What's, what's tomorrow? What do you want um, to make sure you do? You know, just go back and thank all my family. Uh, you know, sit down with them, tell them, you know, how happy I am and hear how happy they are. And um, just tell them that the process is, is it isn't over. And, um, you know, you know, just keep being me. A small town guy, did you always grow up wanting to play in the NFL? Yes, sir. Um, we actually had, um, I was a water boy for three guys, um, Jerry's Wright, Greg Childs, and Chris Gregg. Um, they all played in the NFL and just send those guys and want to be, um, you know, want to want to be that next guy that make it to the NFL and have an impact on this uh, town like they did. Um, just pushed me and um, just made me work even harder. Good. Let's get It's the, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll do the portrait card. That'll be even better. Kayla, hook us up with a filter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's above my pay grade. So you need something, I'm going to guess it.